Hey guys, Mike here at Patriot Coin Rings. Okay, so uh, today we got a new open box review. Um, I had received a um, email from somebody uh, from High Country Manufacturing, and um, I I kind of know what it is, and I have been waiting for this for some time. Um, I could really, really use this if this is what I think it is, uh, and we're definitely going to do it together. So okay, so this was the package that I got. Um, you can see the name on there. It says High Country. And I'm kind of excited to start using these. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what it is. Okay, so this is why the, the name threw me off. It was it was High Country Ridge. I wasn't or was that right? High oh I'm sorry, High Country Manufacturing. And it kind of threw me off. Because I knew them as uh, wood, wood, uh, wild wood uh, designs. They have sent us some mandrels. Now, what these are are expanding mandrels, so that you can put your rings on them. And uh, for those of you that have the mini lathe, a lot of you guys are buying the mini lathe from like Harbor Freight. Um, I did myself, and uh, I've also got a couple other lathes. But um, these are just perfect for it. Okay, I've gone through a number of other uh, cheapy, um, basically mandrels that I have been uh, utilizing. Matter of fact, um, well, no, I was going to say I want to. Sh I'll show you some of them, but I don't want to put no one down either. So I'm not going to show you. I'm not going to show you the other ones that I have. But let's just say I bought them on eBay and and very depressing because they were made so thick that when you screw the center section into the mandrel, it really didn't expand at all, almost nothing. And so unless your ring was exactly that size, it was useless. All right, so let's dump some of these guys out. God dang, thank you so much, Wildwood. Uh, look at all these. I'm, I'm going to have every size that I need now. Um, okay, so here, let me, let me show you what, what they look like. Okay, they're all coming in individually wrapped uh, packages. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six of them. And I'll show you what they look like and how they work. Now, let's see if I can stretch over that far. Um, you can see that it has the mandrel with multiple step side on on it, so that you have the different levels of coins that it'll accommodate. Now on the end is is a uh, screw, basically like an Allen wrench screw. And as you screw it deeper into here, it expands that mandrel out. Now with the other ones I was telling you about, um, I could I could almost never get it to expand at all. And I've only heard nothing but incredible stuff, and they even, they even give me the tool. So, let me show you. Okay, so, there, there comes the Allen bolt, extended out, and he's compressed. Now, I can put my ring on here, and I'll show you uh, a little clip here in a second, but um, basically you put, put this on your lathe, you tighten this allen bolt back up, expanding that mandrel out to tighten up to get the uh, ring. And now you can do all your milling and be able to mill the sides of your rings. And this isn't just for uh, regular uh, regular rings, guys. I mean, I, yeah, I, I use it uh, like when I'm doing my meteorite rings and stuff like that. Uh, uh, when I have uh, dinosaur bones, uh, I can't wait to use these. I, I've got another, I, I don't have any things this nice. Um, but uh, the this is going to really really improve my my tool arsenal. But um, in short, coin rings. There are a lot of things that it can be done with coin rings. If you guys have, uh, you know, you know, maybe you want to try. Um, I'm getting a lot of requests for people asking me to remove the reed, for instance, to be an example. Um, and it, a lot of times it's because they don't want it to be so thick. They want it to be thinner. And we want the detail. As a matter of fact, just yesterday I just had a customer ask me for a uh, Phoenix and Dragon. And that's uh, the one, one ounce silver from Australia. 
and uh, they only want the phoenix and dragon to be seen. They don't want any of the top of the reed, they don't want the bottom, so we're going to clean the bottom up real nice as always. But the top, we're removing the reed, and, uh, and basically I need to put it on my lathe, so that I, because it's going to work a lot better than putting it on the mandrel. Uh, and just, just kind of sand it off. It will be there forever. Instead, I'm going to be using my lathe to cut off the silver of the of the uh, reed, and uh, we'll be able to round that off to make it look proportionately really, really nice on both sides. And this, these are the tools that you need for that. So, so take a look at the quality. I'm just, I'm kind of like checking this out and all uh, how well that these are made. Uh, you know. Usually the ones that I, that I get are made out of a really cheap, cheap metal. These, I, these are really, really nice. And you can see the display. What's important is that space. That, that has a really nice amount of space in between each set, allowing for those splines to come out further than normal. And uh, you can see how well, well that's been made. Okay, so... What I got sent, I'm going to look at the invoice and because it's, I'll use it as a cheat sheet. They sent me a, um, okay, so expanding mandrels, uh, sponsored to PCR uh, sizes two through nine. Okay, so these are ring sizes. Each one is going to have a different ring, si uh, ring sizes available to them. Okay, so, okay, I've got one. This first size is two through nine. Uh, US ring sizes two through nine. I've got another one that's for ring sizes six through 13. You would think that's good enough, right? Uh, that covers you from two to 13. Um, I've got ring sizes 12 through 15. I've got uh, ring sizes six through nine wide. I've got uh, and I would assume I would, I would assume that the wide is probably refer, referencing um, uh, how wide it opens up the the mandrel itself, uh, because some some are made of different materials, so they'll expand further. Um, I've got ring size mandrel ten through thirteen, and a expanding ring mandrel size is uh, seven and a half. To 11 and a half, so even the half sizes, uh, which is awesome. Uh, that's you know, it's really hard to get some of these to fit just right, and so they covered all bases by sending it uh, to us uh, like that. Now, I'm gonna, I, you know, I, I don't, I'm reluctant to quote uh, the prices that are on here because it's extremely low. Um, let's just say that I mean okay when I was looking at these initially um, unless my memory is failing me I want to say that these were going for about 70 bucks a piece uh, this is a few years ago uh, and and what I'm looking at here and we'll look online but it looks like um, they don't quote me on this but uh, it looks like they're only like 30 to 40 bucks each and that is an incredible, incredible deal. Um, guys, I've been buying some knockoff brands for some time and paying way more than that. Uh, and, and their prices might change and someone might watch this video a year from now. So uh, again, don't quote me on the price, but definitely go to their website and check out what they have because um, I'm going to leave a link down below for you guys to vi visit Wildwood uh, Designs because this is a must-have. What I will tell you is this. If you can't find the size, if you're looking just for one size and that you don't want the whole pack, they do sell them individually. And, uh, and I can tell you personally from personal experience that I have, uh, you know, when I was considering it about a year ago uh, about buying these oh my god uh, it's almost impossible for you to get them because these guys sell out so fast um, 
I would, I, every time I look, I, I, there might be one available, but then the other ones weren't available and, and back and forth. And, and they're, just, they're having a hard time keeping up with, with the demand for them. So I highly recommend going to their website right now, seeing if they're available. If they're available, do not wait, but grab them. And even if there, if there is some that are not available, grab the ones that are available then and just simply uh, give them an, a message. I apologize. I don't have anyone's name here to thank. And I will do that right here uh, by posting it on, online. But call them or message them and let them know what sizes you're interested in. If you want the entire kit and uh, just uh, let them uh, contact you as soon as it becomes available. Um, these are, if you have a lathe, these are must-haves uh, without a doubt. Whether, I mean, I mean just trust me. The, uh, this is going to make my life so much easier. So thank you very, very much, Wildwood. I really appreciate it. Um, these are absolutely insanely incredible. I, I, I just am so excited. I got to go outside and start using them right now. I really do. <laughs> I mean, it's like perfect timing. I was going to do a lot of milling today, and this is going to just be so awesome. I got to included in the video. All right. Thanks a lot, Wood, Wildwood. And guys, thank you for visiting. Uh, make sure you visit Wildwood Designs and uh, keep on watching, uh, watching us here at PCR as we go through uh, all the uh, uh, sponsorships and open box reviews. And uh, it's, it's always a pleasure having you guys here and, and, you know, and sharing what information I get with you guys. All right, you guys take care. Thanks a lot. Peace out.